All right, welcome to a video on function notation. So we just went over a video on what is a function. Now we're going to go over a little bit of function notation. Now the next slide is very wordy, so please don't lose me here. So we have rules for our functions to convert inputs to outputs. I showed you something in a table in the last video that had our inputs and our outputs already there. And we do this by substituting our inputs into the function. Now the way that you're going to see our functions written is it's in this class it's either going to say y equals or it's going to say f of x equals. So these are our outputs. Our inputs are going to be our x values. So our y equals, our f of x equals is our output and then wherever the x is will be our input. So here we have the function y equals 2 times x plus 1. And it says find y when x equals 3. So this is where we have to throw back to our substitution rules. So we're going to substitute in our 3 here for our x there. And anytime we substitute, we put it in parentheses. So this is going to say y equals 2 multiplied by, in parentheses, 3 plus 1. And now we're just to order of operations. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 plus 1 equals 7. So our input was 3. Our output is 7 from that function. This is where that machine thing kind of kicks in. We're going to spit stuff into our machine. It's going to spit something else out. Now we have f of x equals negative 3x subtract 4 and we're going to find f of negative 1. So you see here it says f of x and then here it says f of negative 1. So in place of that x we're going to put a negative 1. So f of negative 1 equals negative 3 multiplied by in place of my x I'm going to put negative 1 subtract 4. I get f of negative 1 equals negative 3, oops, sorry, not negative 3, negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3, subtract 4. And then 3 subtract 4 is negative 1. So f of negative 1 is negative 1 with this function. Our input, negative 1, spits us back our output of negative 1. Now I have two examples for you to try here on your own. So I want you to go ahead, pause the video, and work through these now. And here are the solutions to those videos. So go ahead, check your answers with mine. When you're done doing that, you're done with this video.